right, let me meet this guy. Oh, there. Oh boy. Are you happy? Oh, there. I think he still is around. All right. And I'm not shaking your hand. Just put it down at your side. I don't want to catch what you got. Whoa, there he goes. Oh, man. Wow, look at you. Well, no wonder you can't get girls. Look at you. You're the wackiest guy I ever saw in my oh, no. life. Oh, no, I can't do this show. I... <laughs> <laughs> What's your story again? I forget that. Now, now are you smiling or are is that the way is you, that an affect? Is that the way you just look? I don't know. What? I'm smiling, I guess. He's smiling. Go. Oh, okay. He can't uh. see his face. He doesn't know what he's doing. Well, if you imagine the same woman's voice in that four-hour race, you'd smile a lot too, wouldn't you? Yes, I certainly would. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Now let's let's remind everyone what your story is. I'll okay. I'll um I'll get the letter that you wrote me. Okay. You uh, say you listen all the time. Thank you, John. Please, don't, don't interrupt in the middle of this. This, this guy's priceless. That's right. We don't want to stop it hey, for I, a second. Can I stop you real quick, Howard? Yes. I usually don't walk like this with a limp. Yes. Because when I went to Jack, I had missed him my leg. Now my leg's stiff for four hours. Oh, I see. Is that what happened? I see. Very good. Stroke humor. A little stroke humor. <laughs> you injected your leg with uh, your your papavabarine, <laughs> and uh, you, you made your leg erect for uh, four hours. It's stiff. Okay, very good. All right. Well, at least you still laugh. Yeah, I'll tell you something. I think there's more in that papavabarine than uh, we know. I must make you... Uh, now, 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 you're a young guy. It says here, uh, Howard, let me tell you a little bit about my background. This is the letter I received from this gentleman. Did uh, someone turn you on to the show? How did you discover us? No, I've, been, I've listened to it off and on for a couple of years, but the guy I work with is a good, listens to it every day, him and my boss. Uh-huh. And they put me up to send a letter in the house. Oh. You got a job? Yeah, part-time job. What do you what do? What do you do? Work for a company uh, that directs metal buildings. What? We erect metal metal buildings. But what do you do? You're for really us? in the erection business, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you are, you erect metal buildings. Seriously, yeah. And what do you do? Do you actually erect the buildings? No, I just uh, answer the phones and. Oh, you answer the phones with this uh, rap? They must have too much business. They're trying to keep people away. Yeah, are you trying to turn people off to uh, <laughs> using the company? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know he should, he would be a good host for Talk Soup. Well, you know it's funny that he sits around with the guys. At work, and he talks about his problems. Yes, yes, he does. He's very that's open amazing. about his problems, and that's because healthy. Because they say men don't do that with yeah. other men. Well, this guy's barely a man. Well, to read you his letter, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, Howard, let me tell you a little bit, bit about myself. First of all, I am not... Do you remember how old he is? I know how old he was when he had his problem, but I don't know how old he is now. Take sure. a guess. Now? Yeah. I would say, uh... <laughs> you want me to tell him what he looked like? Yeah, what does he look like? How old does he look? Uh, I would say... I got a lot of miles on me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been well, running hard for a way to me times. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would say 56. 56. 56? He is 38 years old. Oh, stop it, Howard. He is 38 years old. He's never been kissed. All right. I, it says here, I suffered a stroke back in 1984 when I was only 28 years old. Right. Which is weird. Why do you think you had a stroke? Doesn't that usually happen what to old people? What were you doing? Like I said, I married the same woman twice. No, she didn't do this to you. What were you doing? You had some kind of wild life, didn't you? Were no, you doing no. a lot of coke? No, 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 never. Really? No. It's just a weird thing that happened. Yeah. Did the doctors have any explanation? Just high blood pressure. High blood pressure, yes. And yeah. you didn't know you had it? I did, but they couldn't control it in time. Now, it says here I was 28 years old and went into a coma, and since then I've had this erection problem. Right. Right. You know, a lot of guys won't admit to this stuff, but our friend here, and uh, this is Dennis. Right. Dennis has an erection problem. So, okay, I, that's what I like about you. Right. You're upfront about it. Right. Most guys are inhibited. Right. So the guy who says, hey, look, this thing uh, isn't working properly. I'm upfront about it. I have a problem. <laughs> you know what it is? You've probably been with a lot of ugly, scabby chicks the oh. way you look. I'm telling you, you're a little wild looking. Right. You know what I mean? Especially when you smile like that. I'm telling you, it's hard to get a girl yeah, when you who, get that look. Who comes running over to meet you when you look like that? Yeah, right. That. You know, and it's a little difficult to walk and everything. I mean, what is yeah. it? The whole left side of your body's kind of yeah. shot, right? Yeah, yeah. Or is it the right side? Right yeah, side? Left, left, left side. side? Yeah. I thought it was your right side was shot, too. <laughs> Both sides look pretty bad. I tell you, it's unbelievable. But the, hey. the, main, the main thing's not shot, though. That's right. There you go. <laughs> Hey, let me ask you, do they have any kind of injection that can cure that wacky smile of yours? <laughs> I mean, look at this. <laughs> That's wild.
I can please you in other ways, too. Woo! Great, okay. That sounds like safe sex to me. Can we be honest? When you smile, I want to hit for the hills. <laughs> <laughs> it scares the hell out of me. Well, the guys, the guys at work, they, they said I look like the Dennis Puppet. Yeah, you look like the, the Gary Puppet. You look like the Gary Puppet. I'm a Dennis Puppet. I'm going to make my own puppet. A Dennis Puppet, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like this, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, uh, see, if I, this is how you look. Let me show you how you look, right? <laughs> if I walk around like that, people would think I was peculiar, right? I wouldn't get girls either. So I think my dance puppet's got fingers, we... All right, all right, take it easy. All right, calm down. He's right. so happy about <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. All right, here we go. We got to get him a radio show. All right, listen to me. Right. No, he's definitely telling So you said, look, I, I was married twice... To the and, same to woman. To the same woman... Yeah. And you went to a doctor, he did a test on your genitals, and he realized that your genitals work fine. Right. That the problem is in your brain. Right. This is why the doctor decided to put you on this type of medicine called Papaverin E. One, right. Papaverin E1. Right. Am I saying that right? Right. Well, how would you know? <laughs> now, he says, let me tell you how this medicine works, which is the part that I feel would be a big hit on your talk show. This medicine requires me to stick a needle in the side of my penis. Oof. And then I don't have to, I have to wait about 15 minutes, and then I have to, I have to what? have sex because my, my, my genitals are hard for four hours. It, it has a four-hour arousal. Mm -hmm. It lasts for four hours. Now, can't they well, I can, I can, do something about that? I like, can only use the medicine once every day, and if I don't stick myself in the right place, I can't do it again until the next day. So he has a, if he is lucky enough, now take a look at this guy, Robin. If he's lucky enough to get somebody. If he's lucky enough to get somebody, and he puts the needle in the wrong place. He's out of luck. He's out of luck. Okay. And I'm sure the sex isn't very good, because you don't have that much sensation, right? When, when, you, uh, when you stick yourself with this needle. Am I correct? Yeah, it's a, yeah. it's same, it feels the same? Exactly, yeah. And after he is uh, finished, I think he can only use it once. So he has to, he has to, he can't walk anywhere for four, I mean. He's he can't aroused. Go anywhere. Well, yeah. I mean, what do you? Let, let me ask you something. You you've had women in bed with you since right. you've gotten this drug. Right. Uh, not a lot of women, right? Uh, what? What do you mean? Who knows? Only you. you know. Now been, get close I've to that been, microphone. I don't want to miss a word of this. I've been having. This, I've been taking this medicine since '77, '78, somewhere in there. So you've had women on a regular basis. Well, I mean. And the first time you bring them home and they're laying there naked, you told me what happens. You run into another room. Bathroom, whatever. Right. You say, "Hey, wait here." Right. You run into the bathroom. Right. First you work on the girl, you get a, a little bit hot. Right. And oh you, boy. That <laughs> must take a while. <laughs> no, no. You work on her a little bit, you kiss her and stuff, and you, what do you go into your bedroom? Well, in the bathroom or downstairs in the kitchen. No, I mean, let's say you're in the bedroom with the girl, though, right? right. You usually take them in the bedroom? Right. All right. And you, uh... <laughs> oh, man. What are you laughing at? <laughs> so you, you, you're in the bedroom with them, and you're kissing them and stuff. Are they really ugly girls? No. Really? Skinny? Well, a lot of fat ones I've been getting lately. A lot of fat ones lately? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bet. So, they're not that attractive, right? Well, I've had some attractive ones. You have? Yeah. All right. But you'll take what you get. Are you sure you're not paying for this? <laughs> paying for what? Are you paying for any of the girls? No. No. You no. never have to pay. No. So, you see, any guy can get girls. <sighs> And then you get them in the bed and you kiss, and you don't even tell them ahead of time that you can't get aroused, right? Oh, I do, yeah. Oh, you do? You say, hey, look, i got to take an injection. I'm on the front, I'm front with everybody. You're up front? Yeah. All right, well... So they see the way I walk, they, they say, what's wrong with this guy? Really? I was shot down in a helicopter in the Vietnam War, so I tell them. Oh, do you? Oh, cool. Yeah. Smart. He's up front with them. <laughs> he goes, hey, I was, He's a war hero. <laughs> I was shot down in the Vietnam War. <laughs> yeah. That's cool, and they feel bad for you, right? Yeah. 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 yeah one, one time I told, I told a girl, I said, I, I'm harmless. I can't have an election, so let's go to bed. So I said, bang, I fooled you. <laughs> All right. There you go. You're a barrel of laughs. <laughs> so I, 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 I blow her up. I fool her by saying... She thinks I'm safe by going to bed with me, but I can't get erection, but then... Then you I, fool her. I take my medicine out, and then... And wow. Yeah. <laughs> now, oh, you work miracles on me, hon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there you go. Look at you. <laughs> you cured me. So, Dennis, um, where do you live again? You live what, what state? Delaware. Delaware, okay. Yeah. So, uh, you meet these girls, what, generally at a bar? Uh, dating services, personals. Personals, anything. Do you yeah. tell them in the personals that you've had yeah, a stroke and everything? Yeah, you write that in your ad? No, you could imagine what you dig up that way. <laughs> All right. 
mm. and you you uh, you you meet let's say a girl at personals. You take her out what for dinner or something. Right. She gets to know you a little bit. You take her back to the bedroom, and a lot of times you say, "Look, I got this way because of the Vietnam War." No, I don't take her back to first night because I'm not that type of guy. Oh, you wait. You're romantic. Yeah, right. If I was you, I'd get him in bed as fast as I could. Let but... me ask you something. Now, yeah. how many women have you? You have obviously you have to meet these women somewhere. You know, you've met them through personal ads or whatever. You talk to them on the phone. You arrange a date. Right. Do they ever just see you before they get to you and? Blow me off. Head Blow you the off. other way. Yeah. yeah, that happens. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, he's a little yeah. wacky looking. That's all. Yeah. All right. So anyway, so so you, so you let's say you find one that's sort of like into it. You seduce her, you get her to the bedroom. You figure you'd be in pretty good shape if they sit down. And sometimes you even say to him, "Look, I can't even get aroused. Why don't you come back to the place with me?" Right. right. And you go because you say, "Hey, why not? We'll just fool around a little bit or something like that." Mm -hmm. Right? Is that what you say? I'm harmless. Right. All right. Pretend I'm a girl. Okay. Right, I'll be the girl. Give me your get close to the microphone and give me your rap. Your best one. No. You know, Dennis. I've really enjoyed getting to know you, you know. When I first met you, I didn't know if I'd like you, but I see that you're like a really nice guy. Wait, well, you want to go back to my house and see if we can get to know each other a little bit better? What? You want to go back to my house and see if we can get to know each other a little bit better? Hey, Dennis, I'm a guy. Stop touching me, all right? <laughs> um, okay, sure. Yeah, let's go. All right, so they go back to your house. I'm harmless, I'll tell you right now. What do you mean, harmless? You can't get aroused? No. Nope. Oh, really? I oh, can good. Please you. I can please you in other ways, too. Woo! Great, okay. That sounds like safe sex to me. That sounds great. Let's go. I see. Yeah, you got it quite a rap, don't you? Right. You're quite a ladies' man. <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I don't know. Why the, why the secret weapon is toys? I think he thinks I'm a girl, because he's, he he's, he's, he's looking at me. Like you could my, uh, my other secret weapon is toys. What? My other secret weapon is toys. Toys? Okay, so you oh, have a full array of... You have a uh, full array of toys? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Toy okay. chest. i got to tell you something. Uh, First of all, you're one of the most sensitive men I ever met. Okay. I want to tell you, I think I'm falling in love with you. So I can only say this to you. Okay. Would you mind wearing a bag over your head? <laughs> <laughs> so you mean you were walking around, aroused, in the cafeteria at the hospital? Yeah. Okay. I, I, uh... We inject myself with a needle. It didn't work. I just got the medicine the week before. Yes. So I called the doctor and he said, well, maybe you have a bad batch. <laughs> so me and my girlfriend went back up to the hospital. Right. It, and, it tends to get a woman out of the mood, doesn't it? Yeah, the nurse injected me there. And then 15 minutes later, it was hard. It was hard. So she goes, Dennis, you and your girlfriend go down to the cafeteria, grab <laughs> something because I can't let you leave the hospital in case it doesn't go down. So I'm walking in the hospital with Oh, well, wait a second. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So let me get this straight. So you got aroused at the hospital. Right. Because they had to test out to see if the medicine worked. There you are with your girlfriend, and you're aroused, and she says to you, go down in the cafeteria with your arousal? <laughs> uh, what, what were you wearing? Were you wearing a pair of pants? Yeah, I had a, I had a, I had a uh, winter coat on. You had a winter coat on. All right. So <laughs> you could get arrested. So, uh, uh, you could carry donuts out of the cafeteria. <laughs> Wait a second. So you are walking around with your winter coat on, and you're hospital. around, right, in the hospital. Are you embarrassed? Could anybody see? No, because the winter coat hit everything. Oh, the winter coat hit everything. But why wouldn't you go, what, couldn't she get you go into a room with your girlfriend? Why waste the, uh, the, the, the excitement? I didn't, I didn't, I'm not kind of bad answer that. But then we went in the cafeteria. I took my coat off. Well, now, wait, wait, now, hold on a second. You took your coat off in the cafeteria. Yeah. Why would you do that? Because I, I couldn't eat with my coat on, so I, oh. I, so I told my girlfriend, I said, don't worry, I'll carry the tray with the food. <laughs> I see. Ah, uh, yes, you're going to balance the tray right on there. Right. Yeah, the story's not done yet, so then... So you mean you were walking around, aroused, <laughs> in the cafeteria at the hospital? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he and likes but, that. But then... Were, they, they, were people complaining? <laughs> no? I'm like you, Aaron. I'm so small they couldn't see. Really? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You told him you would get someone down here to see if it wasn't just that he was getting ugly girls. That's right. I could probably get a good-looking girl in here, and I bet you could get aroused. Well, tell me more about this guy. He had a stroke, like a couple of years ago. He can't um, get an erection anymore, so what he has to do is uh, he has the stuff that he has to inject into his penis when he wants to get aroused, and he keeps him aroused for four hours. But Howard wants to prove to him Show him the just a good looking, picture of you. Just a good-looking girl. We'll be able to help him get around, okay? Well, Dennis, uh, as a special treat to you, because I said I would do it, a woman was kind enough to call in. She claims she is an exotic dancer that she used to dance at scores. 
she heard your problem that you can't get aroused without an injection. And when she heard this, she got very sad. So I was thinking if a really good-looking woman real came in, a real hot number came in here, maybe she took her clothes off, started rubbing your legs and stuff. You want to? You want to experiment? Which leg? Either. Oh, All right, I guess he does. It. Let me see. Who is this? Now this is Susan. We meet you. Oh, Susan. <laughs> More. Now, wait a second. Let's hold it a second. Wait Let me a get this straight. She said she was at scores when? <laughs> Susan, you claim to have been... <laughs> you say you were a dancer at scores? Well, talk into this microphone. Stop drinking for a second. You were a dancer at scores? About a year ago. Are you, are you putting me on? I'm not putting you on. You were the chef or the dancer? <laughs> Did you dance behind the bar? Oh, God. I, I can cook, uh, you know. Can you? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Really? Can you cook this? <laughs> where, is, where is this patient here? Right, that, oh that's boy. Dennis right there. Well, I can't Dennis. tell the patient. Right, now let me Dennis. ask you something. She very excited here. Now let me ask you something, honey. Uh, hey, Dennis, does she attract you at all? Yeah. She does? <laughs> yeah? It has been a long time. All right. <laughs> all right. I was about to put her down, but you know what? He likes you. Yeah. What it means, yeah. Well, you know what I mean. I, I, I've seen exotic dancers at scores. You don't look exactly like... I mean, you might look like you have a little bit of a belly. Is that true? I don't know about that. Is that true? Hello? Ma maybe, maybe. Maybe. All right. Maybe. All right. Now, let me maybe. answer. You know, I'm, what, what branch of scores did you dance at? Was that the scores here in Manhattan? Yes. It was? Yes. Really? <laughs> All right. Because, yeah, you, you know, you, look, uh, you don't look exactly like one of those girls. Wait a minute. Wasn't there someone here who said they knew this girl? No. That, we thought it was a different girl, oh, but it's okay. not. But you, you said you heard about Dennis's problem that he can't get aroused unless he... I didn't he... hear about Dennis's problem until, uh... No, no, you said... Gary called me. You said get somebody on the phone. She called earlier and said she just wanted to come in and get naked. Oh. So I said, oh, here's a great, here's a great way, oh. and I explained it to her. You mean uh, Tempest or someone wasn't available? Right. Tempest uh, is out of town. Oh. Amy is out of town. I and see. Was, she was here in 15 minutes. I see, I see. Well, okay. Yeah, but you, you sometimes, you know, in short notice... And she did say she was a scores dancer. Right. And, and Dennis, you, uh, you are attracted to her? A little bit? A little bit? <laughs> oh, he just didn't want to insult her. Right. Oh, I see. Well, wait a minute well, now. I thought you were handicapped or a wheelchair. Well, he is. He is a little... What? I'm handicapped between my legs. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> he has a problem where he can't get aroused because um, he had, he a, had stroke. a stroke. And the left side of his body is weak. Yeah, so what I was thinking was if a sexy girl came down here and got undressed in front of him, maybe she, he, she could get him aroused without having to take an injection. Do you understand the assignment? Yes, I understand that. Do you think you could dance around a little bit for him right I now? Could, um, I don't know if I could dance, but... Uh... You're going to open up your... Oh, what are you going to do, open up your shirt? Yeah. All right, open up your shirt. Maybe that'll get him excited. Let me see. <laughs> I don't know. I might have a stroke looking at you. <laughs> yeah. Are you feeling anything, Dennis? You're feeling her butt? Sure, let me see what's going on there. No, I'm not taking it completely off. Oh, I see. You're, you're, I, an, you're a chanteuse. I, what does that call, Robin? No, a chanteuse. No, she's a tease. You're a tease. <laughs> more, more like a dominatrix. Oh, you're a dominatrix type. Yeah, I think he needs something gentle. What the hell is that? I don't think so. What the hell is that? <laughs> I, I, I think you need a good kicking. No, 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 no. Don't do minute, that. Wait a minute, no, wait no, no. a minute. Gary, uh, who, no, who you don't want to. Who is this woman, Who Gary? is this woman? <laughs> All right, you know what? I don't think you fit the bill exactly. He was looking for not a dominatrix. He was looking for, like, a stripper type. How do you know what his problem, uh, what the remedy for his problem is? Hey, Gary, another good job you did for me. Oh, good how job. Does he do hey, this? you can't get him on short notice. This is I, what you get. This is what you get, I how see. How does he do this? I just want to know. I don't know. I don't know how he always gets me into these situations <laughs> where I'm, I'm wondering. How do you feel about this? Well, what is it? What, could you do me a favor? Excuse me, ma'am. What is your first name? Susan. Susan. Can you um, do me a favor? Put your boot down. He's not looking to be beaten. Do you, um, you want to sit on his lap? Yes. All right. We'll talk about the first thing pops up. Yeah. Are you feeling anything, Dennis? I'm feeling her butt. You're feeling her butt? <laughs> Are you getting aroused at all, Dennis? She's hugging him and, uh... She just climbed all over him. She is sitting on his lap and... Are you feeling anything? No. No? Hmm. I don't know if this is a true test, Howard. I don't know if we can say yeah. we tried everything. Now, he, she, she seems to be rubbing the inner, inner part of his thigh. Are you feeling anything now? I'm rubbing her, too. Uh, are you? Are you feeling anything? Nope. Nothing? Dead soldier. Dead soldier. See, so he's handicapped. Really? Yeah. Can you Bad tell? Is, are you getting him off or anything? 
Get him excited? All right, very good. All right, anyway, t get off his lap, will you? You, you tr she tried. That was very nice. You know, of her. just for the audience who can't see, I want to describe <laughs> the woman who came down here. Yes, do that, Rob. Uh, Will you please? Uh, uh, remember uh, Paula Chacon? Yeah. <laughs> she looks just like that. Yeah, you look like Madonna's sister. The Madonna's sister. Anyway, you are a very slightly, slightly more loose. You are a very nice woman to try. Dennis, you didn't feel anything? No. No. All right. We want to thank you for trying, though. That was very sweet of you. And Dennis, good luck with I'm your injections. Cry. I gotta get out of here. I know. I, I really <laughs> have to get out too. Show. I gotta leave too. <laughs>